Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red, Tuesday morning, uh, Matthew chapter 5, and we're looking today at verse 24. So, Jesus, uh, 25, uh, Jesus says, uh, Make friends quickly with your opponent at law while you're on the way so that your opponent may not hand you over to the judge and the judge to the officer and you be thrown into prison. So make friends quickly with your opponent. And yesterday we talked about dealing with the issue of broken relationships and Jesus specifically says with our brother. But of course that could mean anyone. And here he continues this theme of readdressing the problem of broken relationships and so uh, in, in a court of law um, whether it's um, an issue regarding who's going to have the kids or who's going to um, win this case or who's going to uh, be found guilty or not guilty there's a whole process uh, and that that process is primarily is related to a judge making a decision based upon the law and the facts and the details of every case. And there'll be thousands of cases today all over the country, all over the world, where um, people will be making judgments. But Jesus, interestingly enough, here says this. He says, on your way, so he says, make friends quickly with your opponent at law <clears throat> while you are on your way. So basically what he's saying is, Long before you get into a place where you're standing before a judge, try and deal with the problem before then. Because if you don't, you could find yourself in a very negative place. So why would we be motivated to deal with the problem? Well, the truth is that are we going to trust ourselves to a judge or are we going to trust ourselves to our own ability to work out a way forward? And Jesus is encouraging disciples to work out a way before you get before a judge. And what he's saying is, he's building up to a theme. He's saying, here is an opportunity. Here is a way in which you can bring about resolve. Now, what he's really talking about is the kingdom of God. What he's really saying is this, that God has given us an opportunity to recover long before we stand before him at the judgment. And he's saying that take every opportunity Take every advantage that's available to you to enable you to resolve the problem regarding the problem. And the problem, of course, is that we are disconnected from God. We are disconnected. Now, he uses an example, disconnected from a human being. But reality is that we are disconnected from God. And Jesus is saying, here is an opportunity for you to bring about resolve regarding your disconnection with God long before you get before the judge. Because a judgment is coming and one day when it comes, it will be too late. And what he says in that context is that you will be sent to prison. And prison basically is a place where you don't want to be. It's a place of darkness. It's a place of uh, a restriction. And of course, what prison represents in terms of after the judgment is hell. Prison is, as it were, the place of Hades, the place where the disembodied spirits go that have been uh, judged by God as a result of their disregard to the salvation found in the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is saying, while you can, take the opportunity to bring about resolve. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.